You and Max, hope your studying's going well. This is Dr. Ingalls returning your response to that question about which muscles innervated by the radial nerve would contribute to wrist grip strength. This gets into the concept of the power grip position. With the power grip, it requires the wrist to be in an extended position as compared to a flexed position. And you can try this yourself. Put your uh, hand into, you put your wrist into an extension and squeeze onto your uh, uh, index finger from your other hand and then move it into a flex position. And what you should find is that you have substantially uh, weaker grip uh, and weaker squeeze on your index finger when it's in a flex position as compared to an extended position. For the reason to this, you have to look at the digital flexor tendons actually along the anterior surface. So when you're in an extended position, it um, pulls the wrist into extension. So those um, tendons lengthen and you get much more mechanical advantage. You get a much uh, more forceful contraction within the wrist flexors. When you're in a flex position, however, there's actually slack in those tendons. And so consequently, even though they're maximally contracting the muscles, there's too much slack in the tendons themselves and they can't generate nearly as much force, which is why it weakens. So to put our wrist into an extended position, we rely on the extensor groups. So the extensor digitorums, the extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi ulnaris, all those are going to help us to put the wrist into a, a, this extended position to be able to secure power grip and to be able to get a maximal contraction. And of course, these are all innervated by your radial nerve. So the answer to your question is the radial nerve doesn't do any intrinsic muscles of the hand. That is correct. But the radial nerve is responsible for putting a wrist into extension, which is necessary for maximizing grip strength. Hope you find that helpful. Email me again if it's uh, still confusing to you. And good luck with your studies and good luck with the uh, test on Monday.